Hey there folks, today we're gonna have a look at NECA Deadpool. But if you've read the title of this video, you should know that this is not really NECA. I mean, this sculpt is totally NECA's, but this figure was only released in one fourth scale. But um, not too long ago, the Chinese companies started to um, sell this bootleg. It's almost in one ten tenth scale, so almost NECA scale, almost 7 inch scale. He's actually closer to 8 inches, so a bit too big, but we'll see uh, together how big actually he is. But the figure itself looks really, really damn good, so let's take a look. I'm a big fan of the Japanese-inspired boxes some figures uh, in the West now come with. I like the big open windows, the accessories clearly visible. The figures always always are in perfect shape. Storm Collectibles has have them, um, some other also American companies do, so that's great. This Deadpool also has this style of box, I love it. Um, but what the one thing that's a bit different from the uh, original genuine NECA Deadpool is that the 1 for scale um, figure had a much more um, tall much taller box it was it wasn't this wide it was much taller uh, this one is just squashed what do I mean by this well look at that <laughs> he's just squashed uh, vertically <laughs> I love it, it's so dumb. But one great thing about this package is that they want you to know that this is a NECA figure. NECA, all the NECA folks are listed here. Uh, heck, they they've haven't touched anything on this box, uh, on these, those graphics. The colors are a, worse, a bit worse, I think. And the best thing about this is this one tenth scale sticker. It's just a sticker. Hell, it's even only glued onto the uh, tape. <laughs> okay, one thing I have to say is I like Deadpool, but this costume represents everything I really don't like about Deadpool at all. It looks like uh, an amalg amalgamation of everything since Daniel Blaze run to this day. Mm, it's crap. It's really poorly designed, it's over designed, someone wanted to make something that was a mix of uh, 90s aesthetics and uh, 2000s aesthetics, it's, it's crap. But as a figure, uh, disregarding the design, as a figure it looks, it is great, it moves great, the sculpt is wonderful, uh, it's really cool, but, but again I I hate it. Just this physique, this everything, this costume, those huge pouches, huge belts, ugh, stupid head, it's, it's awful. So I never really wanted to have the, a smaller version of this uh, one for scale Deadpool, but since this bootleg came out, sure I bought it, and I still hide it, but as I figured, again, it's amazingly good. So props to the Chinese manufacturers. Uh, he's got really, uh, really only one drawback, it's that he's a bit too tall, he is almost 8 inches instead of 7 inches, but we'll get to that. As you can see, he now come, uh, has all of his weapons on him, so two in hand, knife here, gun here, uh, swords and uh, scythe. That's, that's really fine, um, he comes with this small mp5. I guess it's got, it's got a Deadpool keychain here, if I recall correctly from the uh, bigger version. It's nice, it's a new scout, I think, for this uh, Deadpool figure. Comes with this machine gun, again it's probably a 100% original scout for, for this Deadpool. Um, I like the taped uh, magazine here, two clips taped here. They are removable, go in either way. Um, grenade launcher, scope, uh, laser sight, really, really cool stuff. Here in this very nice looking uh, holster, he has one of Dante's 
uh, pistols from Devil May Cry. This is Ebony, I believe, from the sculpt. Mm, yeah, they have a bit of a difference. As you can see, the trigger guard is misshapen a bit. Mm, yeah, I don't care for the, for this gun coming with him, but I like the holster, so that's okay. He also comes with a small knife. Again, I think this is uh, original sculpt for this Deadpool figure. None of his hands can uh, even grip, uh, have a grip on this knife, so that's crap. Um, yeah, this costume has all of the details that are bigger. But yeah, this costume has all of the uh, details that the bigger figure has. So the elbow pads, knee pads, shin guards, um, boots, this and snap. I like those uh, sheets, don't like the Sai uh, holster here. Those belts are really too big for me, too wide. Um, yeah, um, but the paint job is fine, I think. I'm 100% sure almost that uh, the figure is entirely cast in red plastic. It's also uh, cast in soft PVC. So we can remove every part from him, that's uh, great. Only those balls and some other joints are uh, hard plastic. As far as articulation goes, head is on a ball joint. You can remove it, you can remove this choker if you want. You can easily remove the holsters. Remove this also like this. This far rotation in the bicep, double elbow, a rotation and bend in the wrist, bending torso. Not too far uh, back, but I think if I would shave a bit of plastic in the, in there, he would uh, move better rotation uh, swivel in the waist the crotch piece is soft plastic so his legs go like this and this and rotate this holster prevents any kind of movement on the right leg beautiful double knees uh, I'm really surprised there is no cut here for another rotation rocker and bendy toes so that's pretty good, very uh, very nicely articulated figure, uh, it articulates really easily I would say, so that's great. He also comes with five more hands, let me remove all, all of these, it's fairly easy but you need to take care with what you do, it's this, okay, he comes with this deep pool hand thing, <laughs> don't care for it at all comes with three gripping right hands. Those two are almost identical. One of them is for the side. So it works like this. As you can see, he has a small hole in his fingers. So he can grip it like Raphael. And I'm pretty sure this is also the same sculpt as the Raphael. This is quite cool. Um, other than that, those two hands, they are really interchangeable. He comes on with only one gripping left hand. So I guess these are for the swords. Uh, sword them swords themselves have a really, really nice sculpt. But as you can see, the one on the right is bent, the one on the left is almost straight. It's bent here and here separately, so I'm not sure which one is correct. This one is more like a Shinobito or Ninja Katana. This one looks like a Samurai Sword. <laughs> uh, one thing I do like about them a lot is this Japanese text they have written here. Um, actually, if you just look closely, it says, oh shit. That's great. Guard has a Deadpool symbol with some holes. 
it looks really nice, comes, uh, goes into those hands really easily. Uh, I really like that it's also soft plastic, so there is no risk of breakage at all. So yeah, he looks really nice with the swords. And now it's comparison time, let's start with our trusty ruler. From uh, the toes to the top of his head, he, he is almost uh, 20 centimeters, just a 2 or 3 millimeters shy of 20. Comparing him to some other figures, Marvel Select Captain America and DC Essentials Flash both are 7 inch figures. Well, Cap is more of a 7 inch, this one is 6 and 3 quarters. But as you can see, both are quite smaller than Deadpool. In height and in build. Next, my custom Deadpool and Lady Deadpool. Both figures are meant for Marvel Select. This one is a real, real select. My Deadpool is a custom and select scale. So again, they are much smaller than he is. Naka Kratos and Marvel Select Drax. These two guys are fine in scale with Deadpool. You could have him on the shelf with them and it will be just fine, it will look okay. Yeah. Kratos has really long legs, by the way. And finally, let's go for some really big guys. This is Storm Collectibles Shokan and my custom Bane, who was built on Storm Collectibles Alex, so we could say that both of these are Storm, Coll Storm Collectibles as well. So, again, that will could work with these two figures. While I don't care at all for this particular uh, representation of that pool, I have to give it to the figure that it's really, really nicely made. It's a wonderful figure. If you like this Deadpool look and costume, you will love this guy. He could have been a bit shorter. I would have loved that. Uh, well, you know, it's how it is. He's really nice. That's, that's all. Uh, this figure was available to buy on eBay and AliExpress not too long ago, but he was quickly, all of them were quickly uh, brought down by probably NECA reacting to them. But I'm sure that the Chinese sellers will figure something out sooner or later and they will be back in circulation again. Or hey, maybe they will give us some downscaled Daredevils or Batman or I don't know. Let me know which of the one for scale figures of NECA you'd like to see in this smaller form, prefer pre preferably even in straight 7 inches scale. And hey, if you want, leave a like, leave a subscription, I guess. Uh, maybe join the notification squad or, or, or something that those younger kids do. I don't know. Take care, guys. Thanks.